Hi, welcome to educators.com. I'm Shravanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about what is PIG, PIG Latin, PIG modes, PIG versus PIG, and PIG data type. What is PIG? The Apache PIG is a tool used to analyze and process your large amount of the data. That means whatever the big data you are storing as part of your Hadoop distributed file system, to process them, you can use this big tool. In the earlier modules, we have seen how to process this big data with the help of the MapReduce and also with the help of the Hive. In a way, for any kind of the large amount of the data can be easily processed with the help of the pig. Here, pig uses the pig Latin as a language. With the help of that, we can write a data flow language. That means, if you wanted to process something, first of all, you will be loading that data into the picture. And then from there, you will be processing one by one. And here initially the pig was first built in Yahoo and after that it has become a top level Apache project. So you can use the pig, write your pig scripts to provide the high level language. Here this will be mainly used by the program analysts and the data scientists or statisticians. Statisticians, because here you need not write any of the programs with the Java or any programming languages. Pig comes with a very easy commands. With the help of those commands, you can write your data flow language and you can process the data whatever it's storing. And whatever the script you are writing in the pig, the command you are writing in the pig, internally it gets submitted to the MapReduce engine. That means it hides the complexity of the MapReduce. You need not write a bigger lines of the code as in MapReduce. You can simply write a fewer lines and you can process your data with the help of the pig. As I mentioned you, we do have something called a pig Latin. This is the language. This consisting of a simple command. In the next module, we are going to discuss in depth about what are all those commands and how we are going to use those commands. And also here, you will be having the pig compiler. What it does is, whatever the pig Latin script you are uh, writing, it has to submit that to the MapReduce engine. It has to convert the pig to the MapReduce. For that purpose, it uses the pig compiler. And here, if you see, the pig compiler can also consisting of a parser. That means in case if any of the syntactical errors, semantical errors, any of these things are there, it will analyze. And this compiler makes sure that whatever the pig Latin script is there, this will convert your program into your MapReduce code. And to write the pig script, we will be using a shell called a grunt shell. By opening the grunt shell, we will be writing the pig Latin language to process our uh, data. And here we have two different types of modes to log into the pig. One is a local mode and the other one is the map reduce mode. So let me just show you how to log into this uh, pig mode, pig local mode and map reduce mode. For that, I'm logging into my Cloudera Quick Start VM. There, it is already pig is already installed there. I can directly log into the pig shell. So this is my Cloudera Quick Start PM. Just open the terminal, and here to log into the pig, you can directly enter pig. This will automatically take you to the MapReduce mode. And here, if you see, you can see a grunt shell. But if you just go up and uh, if you see the connecting to a Hadoop file system, which Hadoop file system it is connecting is nothing but this is the Hadoop file system. It is not a local file system because we connected to a MapReduce mode. So that is the reason why it was uh, it, it was 
it has been read all the map release, job tracker details and all such details you can uh, see as part of this. And if you wanted to log into the local mode, then what you can do is just open the shell. And this shell will be just executing pig hyphen x local. So that will be running your system into the local mode. So identify that, uh, just go, go up and see the connecting file system. You can see a uh, local file system details there. Yeah, see this? There is something called connecting to a file system. Connecting to a Hadoop file system, it is nothing. But in the map reduce mode, it got connected to your the machine de machine name colon. Uh, there is a some path which I have shown you earlier. So this is the local file system is connected, and the earlier mode that was connected to a Hadoop distributed file system. So pig hyphen x local is the local mode, and either Pick or else you can also have a pig hyphen x map radius. Both are same. You can use any of these things. You can use either pick or pig hyphen x map radius. Both will connect it to your map radius uh, mode itself. As I mentioned you that uh, in the local mode, it, it doesn't connect it to any of the Hadoop distributed file system. And here, no Hadoop and no SDFS is not even required. It just works with the local. And in the map reduce mode, either you can execute with the help of either pig or pig hyphen x map reduce. And here, to execute this, you must need to have your cluster running, up and running. And if you see the difference between the pig and hive, in the previous module, we understand about the hive, and the hive is from the Facebook, and the pig is from the Yahoo. And the language. In the hive, we use the hive query language, which looks similar to your structure query language. But in the pig, we have something called a pig Latin. The shell here, the hive shell, we will be using it. Hive shell or hive client, beeline client, such kind of things we will be using. But here, we will be having something called a grunt shell. In the schema, in the hive, it is mandatory. You must need to be how many, what, uh, what data type of the column, and all these things you need to specify. But in the pig, the schema is optional. You need not even mention about what are all the columns and column details and column data type. It's not required. You see the type of language and Hive is a declarative. You will be having the SQL structured query language as a declarative and here the pig is the data flow. Like you will be having the commands and with the help of the commands which you will be processing our data. And in terms of the UDFs and before that, the built-in functions are there in both Hive and Pick. If the built-in functions are not sufficient for your need, if you wanted to create your own custom UDF, then you can even write that UDF in the name of the Java or other programming languages. Yes, in both Hive and Pick, it is possible. But mainly, the Hive is for the structured data. Usually, whatever the data you're working with, it is structured, then you can use the Hive. If, if it is unstructured data or semi-structured, so XMLs are there. In, Mainly you can also use with the, go with the pick. If you see the data types in the pick, primitive data types, we will be having the int for integers and long to the bigger numbers, which are integers, long, and float, float is for the decimal numbers, double is also for the decimal number. For the strings, you do, you will be having a character array, the byte array is also to store the byte. By default, it is a byte array which will be consistent with. Apart from these primitive data types, we are also having the complex data types. As part of this, we will be having autumn tuple bag. So autumn is nothing but a small uh, field, that is a column, single column which we call it as. Tuple is nothing but, the tuple is nothing but, uh, that is an ordered set of fields. That means, it consisting of a multiple fields. For example, if you take any of a row in a table, that row consisting of a multiple fields. So that we call it as a tuple. And bag is nothing but your entire table. Here the bag consisting of a collection of tuples. Tuple is a record and bag is a table. And autumn is a small field, a single field. So we call that as a tuple bag and autumn. These are the complex data types which we do have. 
coming. In this module, we have seen uh, uh, what exactly the Apache Pig and Rental uses, the differences between the hide and the pig, and also we understand that uh, how a pig script is going to be going via the pig compilers and how it gets converted into your map edits, and also how to log into your pig with the help of any of these two modes, the local mode and also the map reduce modes. In the next module, we will be seeing the commands. The help of the command will be processing our data sets. Thank you. Let's catch up in the next module.